All right. Hello, and welcome back to the Crossword Vlog, AK Clog, Wednesday edition, and, if we're lucky, Thursday edition. So, now, why do I say, if we're lucky? Um, and perhaps that's the wrong word, but, um, yeah, I'm going to do an attempt at a midweek double feature. Uh, as you know, later in the week, the longer the puzzle tends to take, and so, um, you know, if this Wednesday is particularly troublesome, I might split this out into two episodes. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's get it started. Okay, um, first of seven. Okay, so this must have to do with the theme. Uh, so we'll come back to that. A place to unplug. Um, <laughs> couldn't, couldn't tell you. Holiday quaff, maybe nog as in eggnog. And this could be Sunni, but I, th I thought that was spelled like that. No, I think it's like this, uh, like Sunni and Sufi. If so, in that case, nourish gives sustenance. Uh, conjecture doesn't have a proof, and maybe you unplug at a spa and an ancient urn, and then Angus beef. Maybe meh. Indicates indifference. A mammal is warm blooded. Emo punk. Ask me anything, AMA. Ricardo or Paolo. Not familiar with those people. Okay. <laughs> I've never heard of Jacqueline Dupre. Stick for. Oh, this could be like viola, and this could be bow. Um, I was just thinking what sort of sticks are associated with instruments. Uh, so to, to a bell, you are beautiful, so third of seven. Um, uh, um, pa, pa, pa. Boomers. I think that those would be tubas. Just like an instrument that makes that sort of sound. Uh, Rochester Polytechnic Institute is in Troy, New York. Uh, RuPaul, Queen of Drag. There's a great clip on YouTube of him on Jimmy Fallon. Um, end result, uh, the upshot. There's a New York Times column of that name. Bat your eyelashes. Mortar and pestle. Ald long sine. I forget what that actually translates to, but that is a you know one of those Gregorian chant type of type of beats. Uh, I guess you read that story to put someone to sleep. Nope, I'm innocent and. I guess those are all denials. Parry an insult or a sword. Natasha Bedingfield, throwback, great songs. Uh, Tet, I believe, is a um, Vietnamese celebration of the Lunar New Year. Um, looked up to. Uh, like I almost want it to be aspired, and then this could be afro, and then Thai could be, I'm not sure. Come from behind, rally maybe. Symbols of wisdom. Okay. Um, historically found by a river. Okay, I'll come back to that. This could be something dump, like an info dump, but that doesn't quite fit. Maybe missing in action, MIA. Pay the consequences. Uh, CIA, Central Intelligence Agency. Uh, okay. Come on. Come. Come over, maybe? This V ending is a little suspicious, though. So, 
let's see. Yeah, I'm going to take that out for now. December lawn decoration, like blow-ups. Like you, you might have like a blow-up Santa or reindeer or something like that. Uh, Ace-10 would be a blackjack. Ace counts for 11. Or 1. Um, brother, or sorry, bother and bother. I feel like this might be wrong. Because like, this could be like nag. Let's check this out. Uh, garage sale receipts. Mm. Hmm. I'm going to leave this area for a second and just come back to it in a little bit. Idris Elba, so this is wrong. There are plenty of other bowed instruments, such as a cello. Um, maybe a flan is kind of similar, a heft, tons of something, uh, durians are known for their stinky <laughs> smell, um, like some drills and vacuums, like hand something. in a tub, like a bath toy, rubber ducky. Carom is a name for ricochet. It, I always thought of carom as more like a spin or something, but... Um, helixes? Something box. I want this to be kind of hand hand turn drill, but not a hand turn vacuum. Um, it it could also be helices. No, no, that wouldn't fit. Um, meows like a cat would request kibble. Shia, yeah, Shia and Sunni are the two sects. Is that accurate? Um. Like a snow globe scene. I want it to be wintry, but maybe sagas. I mean, it could be ing in this Ohioan. Like I, Ohio is the Buckeye State, so people for whom two states are named. Probably the Dakota, like South Dakota, North Dakota. Um, black candle. Not sure. This, that, or whichever. Maybe any. Maybe wintry is how you spell it, not wintry. Wintry. I feel like it's flame wars, but um, could this be Kwanzaa? No, that doesn't fit. Um, just KW is a pretty rare starting. Uh, control T would open a new tab. Maybe we did it. I still have no idea what this theme is about, but, um, oh, this is probably Friar Tuck. Um, okay, so I don't think it's Aspire, but Ty would be, hmm. uh, Admired, yeah. <laughs> Why did I have aspired there? Um, maybe a mill. Uh, 
would be near a river because you could have the river power the the water wheel and a draw owls yeah okay fairly wise government program heads brings home can be urns and then seventh of seven yeah wait so first of seven or second of seven montalban montalban ricardo montalban uh mortal ban hard okay well, i'll come back to that yeah some this is a little suspicious and i still have zero clue what's going on with um with this theme um modern vaccine base rna word with fine or folk fine Okay, let's do a lap now. I've been sort of all over the place on this. December lawn decorations. Yeah, it's, it's got to be something like Christmas themed, do you think? I don't know that one. Maybe just data dump. Oh, thumb wars, because uh, digital digits are your fingers or toes. Um, oh, maybe just Kidman. And this is dig, or <laughs> dig, nag. Um, some December lawn decorations. Oh, maybe slays. Elk, I guess. Oh, and then just maybe handheld. Cash box. Sure, why not? Um, come on in. And I guess this must be Kwanzaa's or something. Czars. This could be a tea, but no. Ices. Ice is a cake. Um, or are there two A's? Um, and that's... Social security number, and then I guess Satan. All right, um, cool. So that was quite a fast Wednesday by my standards, but <laughs> I am absolutely bewildered by this. So let's see if I can figure out what's going on with this theme uh, before I try to give this a review. Um, Friar Tuck, Thumb Wars. We did it. Fourth of seven. Is there a name to this crossword that can... Um... Two eight... Oh... Ugh. Um... Yeah, so the, the thing here is... It's Sunday, Monday... Tuesday, Wednesday, like like wed Wednesday, Tuesday, um, Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday. Oh my god, I don't think I've ever liked a theme less. <laughs> no, that's not that's not true. That's a that's overly mean. Um, but it just what a what a bizarrely sort of word worthless theme i i mean i'm being mean but first of all i'm sorry but monday is the first day of the week like let, let's let's be 100 percent clear here <laughs> the first day of the week is monday saturday and sunday are part of the weekend and therefore sunday is the last day of the week simple as that <laughs> um so this is really seventh of seven um but beyond that like like 
I think this would be a totally chill and like interest interesting is a strong word, but like totally acceptable theme if the the answers were actually good. But you know, Sunni and and um, Shia, you know, not well, Shia isn't even part of the theme, but Sunni, you know, nothing wrong with it. It's not particularly exciting as Phil. Montal Ban is just awful. To a bell, not good. Phil, we did it totally fine. The Morse, that's probably the best of the bunch. Uh, Friar Tuck, also fairly good. And then Satan, it's just, yeah, it's like fine, but not particularly interesting. So it's just a bunch of just sort of random, not super interesting things. Um, which, like, again, it's, it's not like actively detracting from the puzzle, but it's just so nothing that it's it's hard for me to like <laughs> appreciate it at all like it it almost does detract from it for be, for being so thin like if you just didn't tell me there was a theme at all i think i would have enjoyed this more um but yeah i, I think overall it, it was actually like a well constructed or well filled puzzle um there, there wasn't too much in the way of like awful like gross stuff and i think it was generally fun to figure figure stuff out um you know you got rupaul in there and yeah it's whatever um but yeah i I think there's just not much in the way in terms of like long fill in general theme or also otherwise you know you're you're in a pretty bad spot when montalban um is one of your longest uh things um so yeah, I'm going to give this one a 5 out of 10. I had a fun time solving it. I mean, it was easy at least. Um, it had the, the good nature to be easy. But yeah, just sort of uh, a little lacking in spice for, for my tastes. Um, but yeah, so this was fast enough. Um, so we are going to go ahead and tackle the Thursday. And as you can see, we are in a 24-day streak. So, you know, we're slowly but surely chipping away and getting closer to our record just uh need to triple our existing uh streak and we'll be right there i hate thursday let's see if this theme brings the spice pataki okay i've never watched a single fast and furious movie believe it or not um scott's not maybe nay um like scott as a scottish person um J Crew competitor. Maybe you might say that to get someone's attention. Redirecting the narrative. Maybe spin something. Uh, the sign of one eighty is zero, I think. Mayberry boy, I couldn't tell you. Drive, I think of drive through, but um, that doesn't really work with run. Maybe sins. Run or drive. Okay, that's to find, control F, shortcut. It's probably Anna, but it could be Anne, I guess. Part of a vampire costume, maybe fangs, those plastic things. Eddie Bauer, no, does that fit? Is it like Eddie Bauer? Um, might just need some more fill in there. Agua fresca. I don't actually know what fruit that comes from. I thought you could put a lot of things in agua fresca. Dangerous minds. Never heard of that. Um, commandeered. Oh, a botnet. This is just test, test runner, test drive, yeah. Probably Opie. This is post doc. Um, so, 
this statement is false is like a yeah so I like I'm thinking that this must be like that um oh wait but this is spin doctor is that pros pro plural so spin doctors um Ooh, okay, because that's sort of like a paradox, and if you look at this, that's also kind of like a pair of docs, <laughs> I mean, come on now, like that, can you imagine, like that, it, it might be Olga, um, August, um, Yeah, so this looks like it is Eddie, not Bauer, Bauer. So maybe it is Eddie Bauer like that. Um, shirt or blouse. Um, I guess those are just different types of tops. Maybe just once. An orca, killer whale. Peas in a pod. School lineup. Okay. Yeah, it's like some sort of paradox, I think. Uh, Kate Blanchett. Eight alone. Maybe buses. I was thinking a lout. It's like some name for a lousy person. Uh, although, yeah, I'm not. I'm not a hundred percent on that. Um, let's see. Oh, I think it might be Kate Blanchett like that. Logical paradox. There we go. Um, drawn out character. Maybe just a cartoon. Some bills. Tens. Ten dollar bills. Talk to you later. Heed. Maybe obey. Moby, an oboe is a type of woodwind, a full, end of season, sport event, I mean, bowl game maybe, like the, yeah, there's a bunch of like college football um, bowl games. Nod usually means yes. Probably just like E major or something like that, A major. But I'm not super good with that. Musical theory stuff. Um. Canadian provinces in comparison to US states. Something or you awe someone. Um, I guess there are fewer Canadian provinces than somethings. RNA is the messenger molecule. Those are um, biblical passages, but Okay. 
What's in a name name? Then wasn't that like a Romeo and Juliet thing? So that'd be like Montague. Um, I forget who is saying this because it's Romeo, Montague, and Juliet Capulet, right? Yeah, I think it's like an Aggie, I think, or something like that. Capulet. So yeah, only Montague would fit anyway. Um, self dash. Affecting fundamental changes to perceptions. Um, I think I'll need more letters on that. Maybe trig, trigonometry. Territory. Could just be area. Hmm. Seems suspect. Yeah, I don't know. The A ending there looked off. Probably an S here. <laughs> University of Georgia athletes. Wish I could say I knew that, but I do not. Don't know that. Okay. Do a lap. Kalua Pua'a might be served. Maybe a luau's? That looks very uh, Hawaiian. Um, so I think luau might be the right one there. Batting stats. Um, probably just like RBI is one option. That is a batting related stat. Um, Oh, this can be guava, though. Um, hmm, but the V there is interesting. Noted coal provider. I guess Santa, if you're if a you're bad child. NSA, I guess. Outshone. Insight, egg on. Could it just be averages, like batting averages? Oh, this is paradise. Um, a pair of dice is to die, and this would be Andy. Oh, that's, you know what? I like this theme. So it's Andy and then Eddie Bauer. How could you not like this? <laughs> Gangsta's paradise. And it's to die. And then logical paradox. Okay. Um, so I'm expecting probably two more such things to round out this theme. So if I'm, you know, feeling confused about some fill somewhere that might be what's going on. Uh, okay. All right. Still haven't seen all the down, so let's just do that before I get too in the weeds. These are like fan conventions or something, um, but don't know how to fit that. I mean, it might be um, because of the theme stuff, but. Hit without swinging. I guess that's a bunt in baseball terms. I bet. Seems suspect. Probably imams. Track. Hmm. 
Yes, fast budget is someone who's picky about things. Play. Fundamental changes in perception. Yeah, it's like, like this ing ending seems good, but I'm just, I can't think of another word for like changing. Altering? Okay, we'll come back to that. Unpretentious home. Not sure, all right. I keep thinking Ars for some reason. I know Ars Technica is the thing. It's like a magazine. Um, which doesn't mean that this is right, but this could be basic principle. Dweller on the Baltic Sea. Nope. Territory. So it's not area. It's not, um, it's not like land. I mean, it doesn't need to be ing. It could be like, mm, no, I'm not seeing it. Maybe those are just streets. Yeah, I feel like we're missing one of the pairs, probably two of them. Promise. Make. Okay. Um. Oh, maybe in news. Something. Program enter. It's almost like breaking news. Um, could just be news break. Maybe like Trey goes wrong the whole time. Brooding sorts. Hmm. Don't. Don't know about that. Um. Like this, what's throwing me off a little bit is just that this could definitely be a place where the theme is coming into play and there's actually more space than I think I have. So what if this was conventions? Um, where do I? <laughs> I just want some scratch space. Um, so like, how do we break up conventions? Uh, Oh, it would be so hard to fit. That that would be like so many letters uh, to fit into the rebus. Um, could be like meetups, para ups, para twos, para. Yeah. This J is also. Weird. I 
Um, Good Samaritan, Prodigal Son. Yeah, I'm not immediately seeing it. It's a lasting, fundamental change. I really think this must be the spot. Um, yeah, this could be sediment. So the paradigms. Oh, like shifting paradigms. So I think imams is wrong. So this must be dime, sediment, and then rudimentary or something. Ment Rudin. Well, I'll come back to that. But this is a shifting paradigms. There we go. Um, I just I love the theme. What can I say? <laughs> it just it just hits me. Um, rouse to action. Uh, seems maybe just is off. Territory. Maybe emirs. Maybe your turf and a hut, yeah. Fan. Oh, something Jesus. Parables of Jesus, could that possibly be right? Oh, I think it is. <laughs> Parables of Jesus. I, how could you not love this? Um, uh, fan fests, uh, grog probably, like pirates might say, and then news bulletin. Um, this can be trig again. Is it bull frogs? That doesn't fit, but um, self. Okay. Let me just uh, finish up over here first, I guess. Best or bestir, I guess. Rain Wilson, uh, like uh, Dwight from the office. Let rudiment. We might have to come back to that. Um, a full Monty. I I don't know what that is, but I I think it is Ashley, instead of Ashley with an E. Yeah, not a huge fan of that cross. I I think I've heard of a full Monty before though. Um, self pity, maybe. Bull, me. Yeah, I don't, that's not great. Track could be a path. Promise pledge, yeah. Bold dogs. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know how I didn't see that, but um Okay. I guess hens have a brood. You know, that's their like children. Catch to a lair, lore. Oh, auto, I guess. Wow. Let's go ahead and admire the puzzle. So, as you could probably tell, I thought this theme was great. I thought it was very fun, um, sort of like sounding it out, figuring out where weird things are happening. Haven't seen anything exactly like this before. So, um, yeah, I think that was great. 
I will say, um, there are definitely some suspect crosses here. Um, like, I don't know what this let stuff is. Crossing with Aggie is is not ideal. Um, as this is like Monty Ashley cross. Also, I have to say, I've never heard of Andy McDowell. And so I can imagine um, this being pretty bewildering for you because these are both names and Nisei is not really well known. So I'm going to acknowledge absolutely some pretty bad crosses and I would not fault anyone who got like stuck on this and found it really frustrating. Um, but I just got to give so many points because I thought the theme was very funny. Um, this was especially interesting, right? Because here, uh, for, for all the other ones, you don't really change the um, pronunciation of the things other than adding an S when you double them. So like, like two, like a dime or pair of dimes, um, a bull or a pair of bulls or pair of bulls, um, and then doc or paradox uh, is all the same. But for die, it turns into dice, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, and yeah, I, I think the this is probably the weakest of the themers, Parable of Jesus, um, but it, I, I think it holds up fine. And Gangsta's Paradise, Logical Paradox, and Shifting Paradigms are all quite solid on their own. Um, so yeah, you know, I'm going to give this one a 7 out of 10. Um, I wish I could give it higher than that, because I I, I think this is um, a really fun puzzle. But I, I think there's enough bad fill throughout that it's sort of hard to justify <laughs> giving anything higher. Um, but yeah, hopefully... Um, you didn't have too much trouble with this if you're solving along. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.